Okay, it's time to change an air filter on the 9 this morning. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> it's plugged up. I want to show you something. So, cat's got a problem with their rubbers. They won't stay put. Uh, we just got some new ones for the scrapers. One of them we had to re-glue this on. If this doesn't stay tight in there, dirt goes right around in here, plugs it up. So this is an old style. This, yeah, this is how you undo it. You know, turn this butterfly to get it out. Ooh, that's heavy. So you gotta take this butterfly deal out. That's what it's like. It goes inside and then this clip retains it and there's a gasket here cat does not supply that gasket with the air filter Ooh. so I called my cat dealer and wanted another air filter and of course they don't stock these for me they used to but they don't anymore um, probably because we haven't bought one for over a year, probably. I don't know. We've been buying cat filters for this, and we've been using the cat quite a bit, so I don't know. My understanding is if it, if it doesn't get turned over three or four times a year, they're not going to stock it. But, you know, I'm a customer. I have these things. I wish they would stock at least one safety and one primary for me. So I had to come out of Spokane and Friday's usually stock day. Well, they'll tell you this, they'll say every day's stock day. But if you want free freight, you have to give them two days. It's not a dealer thing. It's a uh, Caterpillar. So, I don't know what's going on at the warehouse, but apparently they uh, don't have enough people, or I don't know, maybe they're so busy. If you don't want to pay $65 to get it here the next day on the freight truck, you have to order it two days ahead, which, that sucks. So... I told them I needed it and to get it in today and then I thought well let me just call my pioneer dealer the case IH dealer they used to stock them for me the fleet guards and lo and behold they had two brand new ones in there so I went and got them um, uh, but I showed you that rubber problem I'll have, let me see if the I've never had a fleet guard do that I've never had the rubber come off so I just I know my machines are old I just wish they'd stock air filters for me and I'm going to have to call the parts guy and ask him if he will and I'm sure, I'm sure they will if I ask but we're probably going to go through a lot of air filters when we get covering rocks because it's dusty, really dusty. Now you can buy the the radial seal radial seal filters for the rear engines all day long. You just can't get these center bolt style for the older ones. They just don't stock them. We probably don't sell a lot, but again. Not to whine too much, but I need them to stock me filters. And I'll even go get them and stock them myself if I have to. Okay, that's the safety. And that's how it goes in. 
safety bolts in and then you got this that attaches your uh, primary okay I put a little teeny thin layer of grease around this to stop any rust formation and then we'll just have to spray it out with ether good each time we change it so I can figure I can figure. Uh, let's see. Okay, I need I need to go get some of the acetone and clean all this writing off. Find a sharpie marker to write the date and hours on. Okay, I found a marker, a giant one. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna put 9.22 and 9.144 hours. New. <clears throat> Got to reset the filter minder, which is clear over here on this side. Okay, filter minders right here. There we go. So now I got to get the cat going, get it on the low boy trailer, and take it out to where they did that blasting. Matt's been out there for a couple of days with 336 pothole and trying to find places to dig a hole. And then he's been digging with the 336. I'm hoping praying like crazy we're going to be able to get a hole to get all this stuff buried
Okay, so end of a day here. Matt's still digging on this end furiously because I'm pushing rocks in. As you can see, we don't really have anywhere to go around there. It's just a trench, and then he's getting pretty wide here, which will really help. But this is the absolute worst thing you can do to a bulldozer. Poor old kill dozer. Uh, if I had my D9H all fixed up, I don't know if I'd get in here and do this. It's just absolute hell on the tractor and me. Terrible. So, see if I can go home and make a video. You guys have an awesome evening.